Congratulations, you're about to take your first Google Calendar self-assessment. We want you to score as high as possible, so we're going to suggest that you have two windows open. On your left, you're going to want to have your Google Calendar self-assessment that you'll fill out, as well as all the resources on scoring a perfect score on the assessment. And in another window, you're going to want to have your Google Calendar open in order to finish a few of the uh, activities uh, during the course of the assessment. So let's go ahead and get started. On the left, you can see I have my self-assessment, and I'm just going to go ahead and fill out uh, my name and my email address and select my role and select what division I'm associated with or what department. And then I'm going to go ahead and report whether I'm taking this for the first time or not. Um, I want to continue to hit the continue button in order to get through the assessment, and I want to complete the assessment uh, before I close my computer in order to submit my scores. As I read through the questions, the first one, for example, says, I know how to toggle between calendar views, day, week, month, and agenda. If I didn't know, I could go ahead and select no. But we want you to score high. So you'll notice on the right-hand side for each section, such as in section one, understanding Google Calendar, there's a corresponding resource. When you click that link, it will take you to a resource that describes how to switch views. So here it is, switch calendar views. And when I click that link, it will describe what the difference is between calendar views and how I can switch between day, week, month, and four days. So if I'm unsure how to do so, I can always select into my Google Calendar. And I see after reading this that yes, I have a day view, a week view, a month view, four days, and an agenda view. When I select the link back, or when I select the tab back into my assessment, I now understand, yes, actually I do know how to toggle between calendar views. Um, and it, that's up to you, right? So you can go through the first time and answer the self-assessment to help identify what you don't know, or you can take your time and switch back and forth between the assessment resources. So I don't know how to set my custom view, and I'm not really ready to learn. Um, but I do know to refresh my uh, web browser will solve 95% of Google-related problems. Not sure how to browse for interesting calendars. And I'd finally go ahead and click Continue. It will take me through each section of the, uh, uh, of the assessment until I finally get to the end and hit Submit. Once I submit my Google Calendar assessment, um, every couple of days we'll send out the scores. And I can see here that I've received my grade for my uh, Google Calendar assessment. When I open it up, it will show that I have scored 45 out of the 47 points, about a 96%. Well, it qualifies me for the intermediate session. And if I have any more questions, I can always go back to the assessment or retake it. Uh, what it will also do is any question that I didn't know the answer to, it will identify those uh, questions so I can um, self-study and, and uh, learn how to answer those questions when I retake the exam. That's all there is to it. Good luck.